are fit and fine at your places. Myself, Priyanka Joshi, in front of you, presenting a new topic that is heat. So, student, we have completed our third chapter that is fiber to fabric. In that, that chapter, you learn that we get woolen clothes from the animal fiber and we get cotton clothes from the plant fiber as we get the cotton from the cotton plant. In the same way, we get the wool from the animals. Okay, so woolen clothes are the sources of the animal fiber and the cotton clothes are the sources of the plant fiber. Okay, so students, during winter season, we wear the warm clothes like sweater, jacket, scarves, mufflers, caps, socks, so that our body feel warm because the outside is cold. Okay, and during summer season, we prefer to wear the light colored clothes especially white color okay so this feels coldness and during summers we use ac fans coolers so this is the hot and cold in a particular season we wear a particular type of clothes so students in this chapter we are going to discussing about the heat what is the heat Okay, heat is a form of energy which causes sensation of hotness and coldness. Okay, so student. Introduction. Students, can you imagine how cold the earth would be if there is no sun? The sun is the earth's main source of heat. Only a little of the sun's heat reaches the earth However, this is enough for life to exist on earth. The other sources of heat are fire or electric heaters. In this lesson, you will study about heat and its measurements. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify hot, cold and warm bodies. Define heat as transfer of energy. Differentiate between heat and temperature. Explain clinical and laboratory thermometer. Sources of heat. Anything that gives off heat is a sources of heat. Let us perform an experiment. We keep tin or aluminium sheet out on the sun and touch after some time. We then place the same tin or aluminium sheet inside the house. Touch the seat after some time. In the first case, we feel hot, and in second case, we feel cold. Heat. During cold weather, every individual have a tendency to rub hands. The rubbing causes friction between the palm of hands, which causes warm. Hence, we say that friction produces heat. What happens when you suddenly touch the glass of hot water and an ice cube? You feel the sensation of hotness or coldness. This happens because there is a transfer of energy in both the cases. Thus, heat is a form of energy which makes any object hot or cold. Energy is transferred from one body to another because of the temperature difference between the two bodies. The energy transfer from one body to another due to the difference in the temperature is called heat energy. Activity If a candle burns, then chemical energy converts into the heat energy. If a water falls on the earth from a great height, its temperature increases and the mechanical energy converts into the heat energy. If a body is heated, its energy increases and when it is cool, its energy decreases. Unit of Heat The SI unit of heat is Joule. The other unit of heat is Calorie. 
1 calorie can be defined as the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. 1 kilocalorie is equal to 1000 calories. 1 calorie is equal to 4.184 joule is equal to 4.2 joule approximately. So students, next topic is measurement of temperature. How we measure the temperature of an object? A reliable measure of the hotness of an object is its temperature. So we measure a temperature by a device known as thermo. Meter. This is a device by which we measure the temperature of an object. So students, there are generally two types of thermometer. First is clinical thermometer and the second one is laboratory thermometer. So students, clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometer mainly for measuring the human body temperature. It is used for measuring the temperature of human body. Okay, this range is from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degree Celsius. Okay, the normal human body temperature is 37 degree Celsius. So, this is the main reason the clinical thermometer range is from 35 to 42 degree Celsius. Every human body does not have the same 37 degrees Celsius. It could be slightly below and slightly above. Okay. So, the human body normally does not go below 35 degrees Celsius and above 42 degrees Celsius. So, that is the main reason that the ranges in the clinical thermometer lies between 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, student, please see. This is a clinical thermometer. Okay. That we use in our houses for measuring the temperature. When we suffer from the fever, we use this thermometer okay here it is written 35 degree it is started from 35 and up to 42 this is the clinical thermometer nowadays in this uh, inside this the mercury is present when the temperature when we measure the temperature of the human body the mercury slips it increases okay so the mercury is a toxic substance. So, it is harmful uh, for uh, children. Okay, when it break. Okay, so nowadays another type of thermometer is used that is the digital one. Okay, it is free from the mercury. The cells are used inside this. We can, here is an on off button. So, this is a type of digital thermometer. Okay, so, the next thermometer is laboratory thermometer. It ranges from minus, minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. Okay. So, it is mainly used in the laboratory. The difference between the clinical and laboratory thermometer is that the clinical thermometer is small in size and student I don't have with the laboratory thermometer and it is much more three times bigger than this the clinical thermometer. Okay. So student let's understand the two types.
type of thermometer with the help of a video. Okay. It is possible to identify whether the object is hot or cold with the help of temperature. How do we measure temperature of an object? In hospital, you might have seen doctors using a device for measuring a temperature. What is this? It is a device that is known as thermometer. The type of thermometer which is used to measure the temperature of our body is known as clinical thermometer. Let us have a st study of a structure of thermometer. It is a long narrow tube and same thickness along with its length. On one side of this tube there is a bulb which contains mercury. For reading the temperature there is a scale printed on thermometer. The normal temperature of human body is 37 degrees Celsius. It varies from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Therefore, it the ranges in this thermometer is vary from 35 degree to 42 degree Celsius. Here you must have understood the 35 and 42 are the numbers and a degree Celsius is a unit of temperature. There is a varying tube which originate from the bulb. It is called capillary tube. With raise in temperature, mercury expand in the tube. The capillary tube is bent near the bulb. It prevents mercury from flowing back into the bulb immediately. It gives more time to read the temperature to get more correct reading. There are some divisions in two consecutive numbers. If there are 10 division, then each division signifies 1 by 10. 10 that is 0 0.1 degree Celsius and if there are 5 division so the it means 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2 degree Celsius. Now how to use a thermometer? Before using thermometer you should wash it with some antiseptic solution and give some jerks to it so that as bring a mercury level falls below 35 degree Celsius. Now place the bulb of the thermometer under your tongue. Keep it as it for one minute and let the mercury expand in the tube. Now take the thermometer out and find out the reading shown by the mercury. Just know you have identified your body temperature. It is just have a sample values. It is 37 and 0 0.4 it means 37.4 degrees celsius for temperature measurement there are other unit than celsius that is kelvin and fahrenheit its scale is also varies always remember never use the clinical thermometer for measuring the temperature of hot object because it may breaks let us discuss about laboratory thermometer Laboratory thermometer is used for measuring a temperature in a science laboratory. It is similar to clinical thermometer but it is long and narrow. A laboratory thermometer reads temperature from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Let us now measure the temperature of hot water kept in a beaker. Take a laboratory thermometer, immerse the bulb of a thermometer in a hot beaker. See the shining thread of mercury moving up in the thermometer too. After some time the mercury thread will stop rising and stand at one place. Read the temperature on thermometer too which corresponds to the top of the mercury thread. This is the temperature of hot water. Now understand the direction of heat flow. Let us take one glass of hot milk and in a beaker cold water. Put the hot milk glass in a beaker. After some time you will observe water get hot and milk will cool. So there is a direction of flow of heat from hot to cold. Let us discuss the concept of temperature. Temperature is the measurement of hotness or coldness of an object. We say that water from freeze is cool and milk is hot. 
How much cold is water? Is it cooler than ice? How much hot is milk? Is it hotter than boiling water? We need to measure to know about coldness and hotness of a body. A hot body is at a higher temperature than a cool body. When a substance is heated, its temperature rises. On cooling, the temperature comes down. Degree of hotness or coldness of a body describe its temperature. Here is the difference between the heat and the temperature. Heat is a form of energy. Temperature is a measure of heat energy level. Heat energy raises the temperature of a body. Temperature decides the direction of flow of heat. Heat flows from a body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature. Heat is measured in joules. Temperature is measured in degree Celsius or Kelvin. Students, let's have a quick revision. Clinical thermometer. The thermometer that measures the temperature of our body is called clinical thermometer. It reads temperature from 35 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius. It consists of a long, narrow and uniform glass tube with a bulb at one end containing mercury. There is a small shining thread of mercury outside the bulb. There is a neck near the bulb which prevents mercury label from falling on its own. This is all about the clinical thermometer. Here you can see the nick present in the thermometer. Nowadays, a digital thermometers are more used. Digital thermometers are easy to read because it gives LCD display of the temperature of the person. They are also mercury free because the mercury is a toxic substance. This is the laboratory thermometer. It has a long narrow glass tube. It has a bulb at one end containing mercury. It has a scale marked in degree Celsius. The range of a laboratory thermometer is generally from minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. It is large in size in comparison to clinical thermometer. This figure shows how we measure the temperature with the help of the laboratory thermometer. They are generally used in the laboratory. Okay, so take some water in a beaker and dip the thermometer in the beaker. The bulb of the thermometer does not touch the bottom or the sides of the beaker. Hold the thermometer vertically, the mercury level rises. Wait till the level of mercury becomes steady. Note the level of mercury. This will be the temperature of the water. So student, these topics we have covered in today's lecture. So students, I hope you understand about the heat, temperature and the thermometer. Okay, thank you.